Mutate was introduced in Ikoria. Well, actually it was technically unsanctioned, but Ikoria was the first official set. It's meant to show the merging of creatures on the plane of Ikoria. Mutate gives you two choices that you'll have to follow in order, and they are the same choices every time. Let's take Dreamtail Heron as our first example. It's a 3-4 with flying that says whenever it mutates, you draw a card. Sweet! Now let's take a look at that mutate cost. It says mutate 3 blue. If you cast this spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target non-human creature you control. They mutate into creature on top, plus all the abilities from under it. Okay, you got all that, right? <laughs> well, I'll just talk about what all that means here in a second. Just, just trust me. When Dreamtail Heron is in your hand, you have the option of casting it for its normal mana cost or its mutate cost. This is where your first choice comes in. You cannot, however, use the mutate cost unless there is specifically a non-human creature on the battlefield on your side of the board. So let's say there's a mysterious egg on the battlefield under our control. It says whenever this creature mutates, put a plus one plus one counter on it. You should start to see a pattern with the mutate cards. Let's play the three blue for our heron to mutate onto the egg. Here's where your second choice comes in. Are you going to put the heron above or below the egg? This is extremely important and plays a pivotal role from here on out. If you place Dreamtail Heron above a mysterious egg, the creature stays a 3-4 elemental bird. It retains the power and toughness as well as the creature type of the creature on top. It also keeps all the abilities of all the creatures that are now fused together. So if I put it below the egg, it stays a 0-2 egg creature, but it keeps the other text box from the Heron. That's why the text box is split in half to show that you can see stack the cards. Now here's where it gets confusing. Your creature now says flying, whenever this creature mutates put a plus and plus and counter on it, and whenever this creature mutates draw a card. It's currently an egg creature type and it's a 0-2. The name of your creature is still Mysterious Egg and does not, and I repeat that, does not become an elemental bird on top of that, nor does it add Dreamtail Heron's power and toughness. So this is not an egg elemental bird that's a 3-6. Don't add them together and don't combine the creature types. Now I move on to the abilities of these two creatures. This now single creature says that when it mutates, we put a plus one plus one counter on it and we draw a card. This means our 0-2 or 3-4, depending on how you stacked it, gains a plus one plus one counter and we draw ourselves a card. These mutate abilities trigger literally every time we mutate a new thing onto it. So if we take a glowstone recluse and choose to mutate it onto our creature, we'll have the same second choice as before, above or below. Let's put it on top to make sure the creature has a base power toughness of two, three. Now, since we mutated it again, it'll trigger all three of these abilities. So when it mutates, we'll put three plus one plus encounters on it and we'll draw a card. It's also got flying and reach and it's a spider named glowstone recluse. What could be worse than a spider with wings? <laughs> burn it. <laughs> Okay, so if you take anything away from this video, remember that Mutate represents a static ability that functions while the spell with Mutate is on the stack. Mutate cost means you pay cost rather than paying the spell's mana cost. If you do, it becomes a mutating creature spell and targets a non-human creature with the same owner as this spell. A mutated permanent has all abilities of each card and token that represents it. Its other characteristics are derived from the topmost card or token. And an ability that triggers whenever a creature mutates, triggered when a spell merges with a creature as a result of a resolving mutating creature spell. Now, one last thing. Mutating creatures do not enter the battlefield. You've chosen to use its mutate cost, it gets put on the battlefield, but does not enter the battlefield. This is an important distinction. This is also weird as well. While it's on the stack, a mutating creature spell is still a spell, so it can be countered. If it's countered, it heads to the graveyard as you'd expect. Now, if a mutating mutating creature spell tries to resolve but can't because its target is illegal or has gone missing, the mutating creature spell will simply resolve and enter the battlefield. That said, although the spell resolves and the creature enters the battlefield, any whenever this creature mutates abilities it has won't trigger. There are a whole slew of things I can't go over in a simple explanation video, but I hope this helped you understand the mutate ability. If you'd like to pick up any of these mutate cards, check out the TCG Player affiliate link in the description below, and I'd like to thank my patreon supporters and thank you all for watching join me next week for your weekly dose of magic